Uh, joining us is Larry Nichols. Larry, thank you for coming on with us. We appreciate you, my friend. I know you're only on phone today. I hope you're doing well. Uh, folks can find you at facebook.com forward slash larry.nichols.921. We'll also give out your, uh, your other addresses uh, here before you leave us. But you heard me just lay the table there. Tell us uh, where you want to start first. Oh, my God, Alex. Number one, let me get it right, right out in the open, folks. I'm no clairvoyant. I'm no prophet. None of that. Alex, going first where you were talking about Hillary's health issue. Remember what I've said. Alex, I haven't been with those people in, what, 20, 30 years. I'm not in on the meetings. What I do know is what they're trained to do. So if she sees an opening with this medical issue, she's going to use it. Now, is she really sick? I'm like you, Alex. Is she really sick? It's kind of looking like the lady's got some, or the animal, I'm not going to say lady's got a problem. She will milk it for everything she can. But you said something else, Alex, that's incredibly important. You said that as y'all have gone around in the black communities, et cetera, throughout the country, you haven't found anybody that's all for Hillary. Let me tell you something. For years and years, you know this has happened in Arkansas for years. You could go around the state and after an election, nobody voted for Bill Clinton. However, he won. How do you do that? Well, that's that's what well, we're going to the next vice president. Uh, keep going. We're playing some of Hillary in the background. Go, go uh, ahead. <clears throat> well, it, the biggest thing that we have to face today is organized mass multiple voting. And that's why, Alex, all over the country, you're seeing this voter ID. States have passed voter ID laws. And now they've got the Justice Department in there saying they're going to sue. Try, in fact, thank God you just reminded me. That's why I wanted to get you on last week, and you were only able to come on this week, Larry. Obama says a month ago there's no such thing as election fraud. Now he announces massive fraud by the Republicans, quote, run by the Putin, incredible conspiracy theory. So they're going to federalize everything and hook federal computers up to all the machines to save us. How insanely obvious is this, Larry? Oh, man. Well, you know, here again, guys. This is the big one. I hope people understand, Alex, we're playing a game today, and I hate to call it a game, but we're in a fight for our lives as a nation. We're in a fight for it. It's amazing to me that you've got states that go through their constitutional requirements and put something on the ballot, the state legislature ratifies it, the governor signs it, and then they have a law. And then the first thing that happens with this law, rightfully and duly passed by the state, a federal judge says, no, you can't do it. Unbelievable. And it happens every day. You know, in North Carolina, as an example, we're trying to work to get people to help that governor in North Carolina. You've got to have a picture ID to get alcohol. You got to have a picture ID. Sure, to get absolutely. So, so they want to have dead people vote, other people vote. Um, they have a list of old voter rolls of people still in the voter rolls, but who haven't voted in a while. There's going to be massive fraud. <clears throat> now, do you know why that's so important? When I was with Bill Clinton, now, folks, this is a long time ago, but it's going to happen today. We used to go to Ward School Bus here in Conway, and we used to get school buses during the summer. We'd get school buses, and we would load them up. We'd go to Northeast Arkansas, and we'd pick up in that impoverished area of the state. We would pick up black. We would take them to the precincts in Little Rock, kind of what you'd call the ghetto precincts. We would get them a T-shirt. They'd go in with this card, and it would say, hello, I'm Larry Nichols. And then it showed them exactly who to vote for. they go in, they vote, they come back out, Alex. We changed their T-shirt. Now they got a blue T-shirt on. They go back in, except this time, instead of Larry Nichols, he's Alex Jones. He knows how to vote. He fills it out. He comes back home, gets on the bus. Changes T-shirts, goes back in, votes again. And that's why we've got to be up. looking for the buses, and we've got to dress bad. up like bums as well and stumble onto them and mm -hmm. blow their operations. Now, there you go. Now, the problem is, folks, all these people say, well, I'll be a poll watcher. Well, let me tell you where the problem is, guys. Let me tell you where the massive voter fraud's going to be. It's going to be in Cleveland. It's going to be in Detroit. It's going to be in New York. It's going to be wherever there are, what do you call them, ghetto communities, large numbers. 
that's where you got to go. All right, you stay right there, Larry Nichols. For. Larry, we got to go to break. We're going to come back and talk about this. But if you just joined us, I tell family this and they don't believe it. It's been announced that Homeland Security is taking over the elections to, quote, stop Vladimir Putin. But at least we have Hillary in her own press conference saying it. I'm going to cue that up on her airplane, or her fake press conference, and admitting it. I'm Alex Jones with InfoWars.com. You know, I realize that I'm almost like a rabid barking dog half the time on the show because I've got so much information, so much I want to get out, and then so much frustration, not in my crew, they're amazing, just in myself, that it's worse than I'm saying, and it's so transparent, and if the people would open their eyes, it could all end. What was it, four, four and a half weeks ago, I come out, put on a case for election fraud in the last election, in the primaries, robbing Bernie Sanders, trying to rob Trump. I show the clips. I show the history of fraud in a little short six-minute video. I ask Donald Trump to investigate it. He's already investigating it. He comes out a few days later and basically breaks down the facts. Not repeating what I said, but re re repeating the facts. They call facts conspiracy theories. It's a fact. Stanford Research Institute came out a month ago and said Bernie Sanders was robbed. He should have been the nominee. He won. Well, I don't need Stanford research. I was there watching fraud per state. It was in CNN.com. Uh, it, was, it was in the New York Daily News. But they met the day before in California and, and, and decided who the delegates were going to go for. Didn't matter they had the, the election the next day. That is earth shaking. So then Obama comes out and addresses oh, the conspiracy theory from Texas, not even saying my name. And tells the press corps it doesn't exist. There's no such thing as election fraud. But now it blew up in their face. A month later, they're now all over the news saying Russians are in, are in our computers. They're in them. They're in the election computers. And they've got to be stopped. So Homeland Security, that's the offshore globalist. That's who really took the country over. They're going to protect us from the Russians by taking over the election. Sensational. And then here's a clip of Hillary yesterday before she had to stop her fake press conference with a few of her friends, hacking, talking about the Russians in our election. So which way is it? Here it is. He furthermore has praised Putin. He seems to have this you know, bizarre attraction to dictators, including Putin. He won't tell us where he owes $650 million. There's a lot of rumors about that. And he has... You know, made it clear that um, he doesn't particularly care whether Putin and the intelligence services attack American institutions. So, we got some water. Yeah. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> She's the one attacking American institutions. And then she goes on to say they're getting involved in the elections. We have to do something about it. I'll cue it up during the break and we'll play it. Uh, but the point is that. This is a big deal. Now, Larry Nichols is our guest. We'll hold him some in the next segment. But, Larry, what are we seeing here from your inside political eye, knowing the Clintons, denying election fraud, saying it doesn't exist, but now having Homeland Security come in and take over elections? All right, Alex, it's simple. One of the rules that we always had, this is a fun foundational principle with the Clintons. You always accuse your opponent of what you're doing. Always. Now, what that means is when I accuse you, Alex, of something that I'm doing, guess what? I know all the angles, so I can tell all kinds of stuff in detail that nobody could possibly know. So it proves my point about you when I've got all of these exacting details, number one. But the scariest thing of all, they're using this they're using this as a way to do what? Bring in somebody to oversee it and who controls the people that are going to be overseeing it? They do. They do. So it's an absolute, unbelievable play to get absolute control of computerized voting. What do you make they're of the fact that they're using the EU slash UN security service of the OECD <laughs> and, and they've added 10 times, quote, the observers they had in 2012. There it is on screen from Reuters. OSCE rights group requests 500 international uh, observers to monitor U.S. presidential vote. 
Can you believe it? What I'm going to tell you next, Alex, goes right in with this. All of a sudden, we're bringing in you in. That's what you wanted to talk about this morning. So give people a preview before we go to break. You said, I want to talk about the U.N. taking over the Internet October 1st. Well, the U.N.'s taking over the Internet October 1st, but there is another thing that happens that most people have no idea. In the same agreement, the U.N. takes over our health care in a play that nobody is going to believe, but it's there. Part of the TPP. You got it. I know. It's all. This is it. This is the year of world government. Do you agree, Larry? This is the year that it all really begins. It's over, Alex, if we don't stop it. It's over. I've told y'all that. I've said it and said it, and of course I look this like an idiot. Stay there. I'm going to give you the floor for 10 minutes when we come back, then I'm going to let you go. I appreciate your time, especially with your health. Everybody needs to pray for Larry Nichols. Uh, this is it. 2016 is it. The military knows. Trump knows. Uh, the, the globalists are all over their major publications saying this is their year. This is their takedown. This is their big offensive. If they lose, they're on the defense just like Hitler. This is their battle of the bulge. A season of decision. Because there is major free will in this universe, and we are abandoning God's law, natural law, common sense for globalist law. That is whatever they say it is, and it changes day to day. And it's designed to set evil on top of good. We're going to go back to Larry Nichols here in a moment. Very important to pray for him and support him, too. He's battling cancer. We'll put his PayPal on screen. In fact, I would have given that out, but I don't, I don't have that on screen. So we'll see if we can put that up on screen. Uh, it is uh, Nichols Live at AOL.com. And you can make a donation there or write to him. Larry Nichols, 58 Kingsons and Drive, Conway, Arkansas, 72034. We try to take care of you know, special guests we've been interviewing for 20-plus years, uh, especially when this guy has uh, been fighting really hard. He came on the day after he had heart surgery a few weeks ago, and then we weren't able to get him on because he's been sick. And he's on via telephone today, 58 Kensington Drive, Conway, Arkansas, 72034, or Nichols Live at AOL.com. Now, speaking of funding our operation, we don't do this special very often. Used to it was once a year, but I've been doing it every few months because obviously there's a quickening. People know stuff's going on now. We have the highest quality, My Patriot Supply, full spectrum of their food. Drop ship directly from them. We're able to get around the fact that we already have the lowest prices because we sell their full spectrum of food as well at InfoWarsStore.com. Ships from the very same factory in Utah. But if you want to get 30 to 40% off InfoWars Select storable food at InfoWarsStore.com, FEMA reports and predicts a 395% increase in food prices that could trigger mass unrest in the next five years. That's mainstream news. Now is the time to stock up on storable food for you and your family. I hope that doesn't happen, but it's insurance you can eat. Get 30 to 40% off of retail price on all InfoWars storable food at InfoWarsStore.com to help get ready. They're, they're all about making us dependent on them. We need to be independent. All InfoWars select foods, have, and that, again, that's the brand name. It's not just select ones. It's the full line of select. InfoWars select brand foods have a shelf life of 25 years and are made in the USA. Start getting prepared before food prices skyrocket as they could. They already are. Get 30 40% off all InfoWars Select storable foods at InfoWarsStore.com for a limited time while supplies last. We'll probably only be able to run this for a week. And we're doing this in the month of September. It is prepared this month, 30 40% off on a lot of other survival goods, 20% off Survival Shield Nascent Iodine X2, 20% off all Alexa Pure indoor air filters that are only 200 bucks normally. They're even less than that right now. And competitors are 400 bucks to 500, some 1,000 that do the same thing. 20% uh, off Alexa Pure water filters and many, many others. Visit InfoWarsStore.com today and take action. Also, we have the film Amerigeddon, a fictional account of a possible globalist-style takeover that's great to wake people up. And we have a lot of other specials uh, running as well. And InfoWarsLife.com, that is the subsection of InfoWarsStore.com. That's the umbrella site. Or simply call toll-free 888-253-3139. And your purchase of the products makes everything we do here possible. So Larry Nichols, looking at this, it's very clear, not just here, but all over the world, whether it's Internet censorship or control uh, or targeted assassinations or uh, globalists not even fixing nuclear reactors that are leaking, uh, or power grabbing, media censorship, the media lapdogs going further than ever censoring. All Hades, it seems, is breaking loose. And it was already accelerating 
But it seemed like we passed a demarcation line September 1st, and everything we already saw that was amplified 100% in the last year went up 200% more. I mean, it was like just a massive next level. And, and now it's clear the acceleration is clearly happening. What are we witnessing, Larry Nichols? You're witnessing what I told you about, Alex, a few months ago. Remember when I was telling you and your listeners, we're at the beginning of the beginning of the end of the silent coup, the velvet coup. You're seeing it now. You're seeing it manifest itself. Now, I want to say something. I want to interrupt everything for just a second, folks. I'm telling you this as straightforward and honest as I can. I appreciate Alex and all of y'all trying to help me. But if it comes down to the money you have, you have to make a choice between getting some of the incredible products that Alex has got to sustain you or me. You've got to support this program. Folks, this program is all we're going to have here soon. It's all we got soon. So please, please, Alex, Alex is doing the best he can. I'm not here to be patronizing. I'm just here trying to save my country for my grandbabies, for all of you. Now, let me tell you something, Alex, that's coming. Number one, people need to come here because I will help you. You know, I've rigged more elections, Alex, than most people have voted in. I've done it. I've rigged them. I admit it. I'm not proud of it, but I did it. It's because I did that I know how to twiddle with them and save them. We're going to have a program right here, Alex, if people will come showing how to do poll watching to the point where we can stop this massive, single greatest effort they have to rig this election, which is the multiple voting. That's we can stop, Alex. We can stop it with your audience right here. If people will come here and let's teach them and show them how to do it, number one. Number two, in that TPP, there's another little thing. There are 29 facts about TPP. Five of them have to do with the trade, which is what we think it's supposed to be about, right? Only five have to do with trade. 24 others have to do with stuff that ain't got nothing to do with trade. Number one would be like the computer stuff October the 1st. But here's the scary one. I have told y'all that Obama announced himself. They said it. I didn't. The Obama people said a couple, three months ago that on November the 15th or the 17th, I can't remember why, I can't tell you which one date it was, but on that day, full Obamacare kicks in. And when full Obamacare kicks in, your health care insurance premium, they said, will go up somewhere between 200 to 2,000 percent. 200 to 2,000 percent. Well, I found out last week. Alex knows who I found out, but I can't tell y'all because of the risk. But included in TPP, it includes a provision having to do with the American health care program. But what they're talking about is Obamacare global health care system. The establishment of a global health care plan and what that means alex is we in america are going to be picking up the tab now remember under obamacare the problem is by the time we pick up the tab for all the people that choose not to have health care or can't afford it it's bankrupting us when now we're going to find out the 15th of november that we're fixing to pick up under the terms of this UN agreement. We're fixing to pick up the health care costs for Zimbabwe, Kenya, you name nowhere country in the world. We're picking it all up. It will literally drive us into bankruptcy. Us. Us. Now, we got to stop that, Alex. Absolutely. Look at Venezuela. Look at 
what's happening all over the world. Look at Greece, look at Spain, look at Portugal, look at Italy. They are installing leaders uh, in major European countries, and it's on the news that, quote, Goldman Sachs runs our country now, and every time you turn around, it's Goldman Sachs, whether it's gun control, open borders, globalism, it is this one bank, along with J.P. Morgan Chase, that run the whole stinking show. And do you think they're being truthful when they say in the Financial Times and The Economist and The Washington Post, obviously communicating with their own uh, crew members, that the New World Order is in deep trouble if Hillary doesn't win? I mean, I mean, are they all in for her? Because if they'll censor, if they'll engage in all these threats, if they'll let her commit all these crimes, clearly she is the embodiment of their hopes and dreams. I believe without any shadow of a doubt. Now, this is my belief. I cannot prove this in a court of law. But this is my feeling. They have fought so very hard against Donald Trump because Donald Trump, they fear, is about America. And whoever becomes president of the United States to comply with this global, one world, global governance system you cannot have a person at the presidency of this country that believes in America first. You can't. You can't do it. It don't work. They have got to stop Trump. And if they stop Trump, they stop us. That's Hillary's strength, and she knows it. Hillary's setting back, Alex. She's on a dream ride of her life. She's sitting here with all these global interests that are sitting there. Where he, all she's got to do is just sit back and let them do all the work. Let me give you another quick example. Remember, what is the greatest single fraud committed against the American people when it comes to this election? And that's going to be the multiple voting. Several states have introduced voter ID laws. Now, figure this one out, Alex. We find out a couple of weeks ago or a month ago, whenever it was, that George Soros had committed, along with the DNC, they had committed to this law firm, a guy named Eliason or Ellison, however you pronounce his name. Sure, sure. I mean, I mean let me quantify it. It's in all the emails that they said <laughs> we're going to bring in foreigners and get illegals to vote, and this is how we're going to break the U.S. up. It's the same strategy in Europe. We have his emails there as well. And they're going, they put in three and a half million dollars for him to go around Suing. and to fight, get this, to fight. Yeah, globalism is a very simple equation. It's a very simple equation. Foreign multinational banks come in, they open your borders, they bring in client minority groups that then vote in key areas and demographics in battleground states to overthrow the country. Uh, it's not that we're even against these poor illegals, it's that they are a weapon system. Just like if you you know you know drowned you know your dog in a pool of water, the water isn't you know evil itself, but but it's being used as a weapon. You're absolutely right, Larry. You helped them form the broken coalition strategy. You bet. And we are now witnessing it point blank range, my friend. Well, you got to see this one little trick because it's deadly. They're going out with this alliance group, and they're funding two things. They gave him two orders: fight number one, voter ID laws. Why? because that allows for multiple voting. But the other thing that they're giving him money for is to fight what, Alex? They're giving him money to fight states' rights initiatives. State rights. Why? Well, think about it. They've got us in the court. Any state, I've told everybody I can to tell their governor, you go in federal court, you've lost. You're in with the black The states mob. just have to ignore it. And now the courts at the federal level are gone. We have to go with the states. And we have to reconstitute the republic in a new constitutional convention with the states. And I was never for a con-con -con because they could use it to overthrow us. They already have. We are in an emergency brain surgery, heart surgery right now. We have got to save this country. And here's the good news. And I want to add this here, Larry. They came to totally overrun the U.K. with globalist tyranny. The people voted to leave it. Doesn't mean the fight's over, right. but they're going in the right direction. Donald Trump has risen up. Uh, in, in opposition. As the Bible says, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against it. So the good news is that you can see nationalism and the understanding of the New World Order growing and expanding, Larry, and that really scares the New World Order and is making them accelerate their plan that was already in trouble. And I believe they've miscalculated and are starting to bleed out. And I think medium term, we're going to win because they may try to bring in an absolute authoritarianism and really try to censor and shut us down. And at that moment, 
the military and others are ready to stand up. You know, Alex, it's all kind of down to this. And I think this is why I say your program, your, your network is so important. We've got to have some place to gather. You're right. We can stop this. We can stop it. You know we can stop it because they're so afraid of us. It's, hey, look, if they didn't think we could stop it, you know, Alex, they wouldn't give two hoots and a tank. They're engaged in huge crimes. It's outrageous. All we've got to do is expose it. Expose it, engage the enemy. And, Alex, that's what I promise all of you, as long as I can, and I don't know how long that is, but every breath I breathe, I will help get through this election. We can win this election by using poll watchers that know what they're looking for and in the right place. All right, Larry, and let me stop you right we there. we can go and put pressure a on Absolutely. Government. Larry, we're out of time. Uh, we're working with Roger Stone on that. He's on tomorrow. We're working with others on it. We're going to war game with Dr. Pachenik again coming up uh, for 30 minutes in the next hour. And then I'm going to cover other news after he leaves us. But you're absolutely right. History's happening. Thank you so much for your time uh, and your energy. And again, the good news is here, uh, I got contacted by a lot of different police over the weekend, some of them senior. And they said, you know, Alex, it's one thing to read it at InfoWars or Breitbart. But we actually now have the Justice Department and the U.N. actually came in last week and told us they're taking control and get ready for a big emergency. And the police are all standing there actually hearing, get ready for the U.N., get ready for political correctness, get ready. So the attempted coup physically is what's going to bring them down. They've had their soft coup, as you said, but I'm telling you, I don't I really the reason they're scared is they know, Larry that the police and military are finally really waking up. Not that they're perfect, but they really get, wow, foreign globalist scum are going to overthrow the whole country and gut it, and they understand it's going to destroy prosperity. Even people that aren't perfect don't want to destroy prosperity and have a creepy feeling right now, and the, and the attitude is they're ready to stand up. A, what do you think of that? And B, in one minute, how will the globalists strike back against something like that? Well, number one, I believe in it 100%. The police have had enough. And they've counted on the police just laying down and walking away from their jobs. Guess what? That's not happening, Alex. The police are not just having blue flu and walking away. The police are standing up. And I'm telling you, the globalists are in trouble. Now, they're not going to admit it. But, Alex, if we will unify, if we will stand together, and I'm not talking about one of these things where you stand around singing kumbaya. No, there's work no, to be no. done. Don't comply with the globalists. Expose them at every front. Spread the word. Go out and poll watch. Be, look, it only takes one or two of us to get into one of their that's buses right. when, they're, when they're fake voting. And, and, and that's why they're scared. They know we're aware of them now. We're watching them, and they're going to try to steal it, and they look scared because they know everybody's watching. That's why Trump told the police, you get out there and you watch what they're doing. They're coming to steal it with that dirtbag Soros. Larry Nichols, we salute you. God bless you, my friend. And uh, one day, regardless, I'm going to see you in heaven. You're a great person, and we appreciate you. We'll talk to you again, Larry. Thanks, buddy. See you all. That's right. We know where he's going to be. Where are you going to be? Get on the right side of God right now. Stay with us.